Okay folks, here we are back at Donington Park. Uh, this video leads directly on from my last video. Um, so if you want to know more about the premise of this video, go and watch that one. Uh, basically, I came here to Donington with exactly the same settings I have now. So I'm starting a race in slightly cloudy weather, going to wet and then going to dry, very sunny weather. Uh, my settings are exactly the same as last time. 110 difficulty on the uh, on the AI, 50% on their aggression. Everything's exactly the same, same st setup, pit strategy, the lot. In the last race, there was a huge pile up as we got to the chicane and... Uh, I ended up finishing in fifth position. I'm going to see if we get now a totally different race or the same sort of thing because I find the variety of each race in Autobahn Blister 2 so wide, it's, it, anything can happen. So, with all of that in mind, let's get out there. B32. 20 minutes of Donington, here we go. Once again, we are going green here at Donington. Try and keep that back end in check. As we come off the first corner there, and I'm very excited to see what happens in this race. Will it be totally different, or will it be more of the same? Will there be a big pile up as we get to the chicane? Let's see. Oh, close behind the AI car there at the Craner Curves. Maintaining position behind him through the old hairpin. Now, can I dip down the inside here? Oh, it's tight, it's very tight. We're running 200% damage. Again, as we were in the last video, couldn't quite make it past him there, but 200% damage. So, don't want to get any injuries. And we are now approaching the chicane here where that huge pile-up happened just after it started raining earlier on, or in the last video. Do go and watch that video because it's an amazing example of what racing with changing weather and 200% damage is like in Auto Ballista 2. Oh, right down the outside there, so close to the other cars. Oh, nearly swapped a bit of paint with the... Uh, the green and yellow and white car there, but we've made some positions. Is now in the lead. Always it's sort of easier to do that in the first couple of laps as the cars are bunched up. But now as we come into the second, third lap, they should start spreading out and find their lines become a bit fast, a bit harder to beat. Third gear through the right hander there. Using all of the curb on the outside. Let's see if we can get some good speed down the crane of curves here. And a good exit out of the old hairpin. We did, but the car's in front. Maintaining distance. Very equally matched at the moment. I'm really enjoying this. Apart from Jim telling me from Crew Chief how badly I'm driving. Okay. Let's get through the chicane nice and cleanly. Try not to cut the track. Got the same track limits settings, which are quite strict. So, want to be careful there. Oh! Getting a bit close to the white car on the outside there, but once again! Gaining positions around the outside. Slight touch, I think, from the black car behind us there, but nothing more than a bit of paint swapping. Don't think we picked up any damage as we go through. No, we're doing all right. We're neck and neck here with the Helsingville car. Oh, and we're hit the grass there. Got a bit bumpy on the grass. I wasn't grass dipping, okay? <laughs> Again, coming out a bit. That was a bit of a moment. We went through the old hairpin. Oh, and I'm going 
wide. I'm going. I'm locked up. I've gone wide. Big mistake there from me. Try and get back on track without getting obliterated. And we are now second from last. We're in 31st position out of 32 cars. I'm going to try and make that back up. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so this is where the AI seems to be a little bit slower around these. Oh! Silver. We're seeing a few spots of drizzle now. And we've got a car that spun there. We've just hit the car in front. Slightly there. But the AI seem to have sorted themselves out. I seem to have got a little bit of possible suspension damage on the front end. My steering is pulling slightly to one side. doesn't seem too bad. We did brake quite hard and managed to slow the car down a lot before that happened. Yes, so we've got nine points as you can see from the damage widget in the bottom left hand corner. Nine points of damage to our front aero, six points of damage to our front right suspension. And we've got a car now having a look around our outsides. We go through the crater curves, all that's dangerous. Was that the car from earlier we ran into the back of? I can't, can't quite remember, but we've got another one! Going for it on the outside. So, we had problems this time with the car spinning on a different part of the track and earlier on as well in the race than we did last time so there's already quite a big difference in variety from this in the last race and this is what I'm talking about this is why you go for the exact same race exact same condition settings everything in Automobilista 2 and you get a completely different race oh, as I go wide I'm concentrating too much on talking not enough on driving track surface is getting really wet now, cooling down. And I think this is the last lap. I'm going to stay out on these slicks. Let's turn my lights on there. Doesn't look like anyone else has pitted just yet. But I am now going to hit that button and schedule my pit stop for the next lap. How are we doing position wise? We're 29th. Let's see if we can maintain that and see how much that changes, that position changes depending on who pits and who doesn't on this lap. I'm definitely pitting, I'm sure some of the AI will because the track, I'm trying to stay on the dry parts of it but the wet parts are getting properly slippery. Oh, as you can see there! Big slide off the track there. Oh, losing those positions. And I get back on without getting hit. And yeah, no problem with not getting hit because we are now last. Oh, this is so different to the last race. <laughs> Oh, and I've, I'm getting careless now. Oh, this is such a different result. In the last race, it's just completely different, and the track is now absolutely sodden. These slick tyres are not gripping at all. They're completely out of their operating temperature. See the uh, jet taking off there. Simos, the head is pitting. So here we go. Okay, Paul, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. And it does look like most of the field there have pitted. And there's 
close our pit box. Okay, so let's see now. That little bit of damage to repair and the tyres to be changed there. We're now in 32nd position, but with this car coming up behind us, that'll put us back into last place again. And of course, we've got those repairs to fix as well. It's going to take even more time. So this is going to be a real challenge to catch up, but we're now on our wet tyres. And uh, actually, we have gained back in another position because there's a car that is obviously changing his tyres but also must have damage because he's been there quite a while. So that's allowed us to gain one position right. And now it's playing catch up time. We are miles behind the rest of the field. And all oh, much better on the wets, in the wets, but still got to remember that it's wet and not push it too hard. Okay, so Jim's just told me there's another car now pitting. Obviously decided to stay out one extra lap. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it round to the main straight and overtake that car before they come back out on track again. I'm assuming not, but we shall see. There's the headlights of the rest of the pack as they come round that second hairpin. Really have to be careful of that chicane in the wet. I always never quite reduce my braking distances enough. To get that one a bit wrong, as I've just done here with the hairpin. Okay, so I can hear from Crew Chief there that the rain is now dying down a bit. Right, so there are cars coming out of the pits there. Let's see if we gain any positions. And we have indeed gained a few positions from the other cars we have only just pitted. We're now in 27th. Looking like we might be able to make it 26th. Yes, we have passed the car in the crater. Just a slight touch. Nothing more than a bit of paint swapping. We've gained a position. So, 26th. And he is right on our back end. This is absolutely fantastic stuff and completely different to the last race. Just proving how much variety there is in what happens on track with the AI in Automobilista 2. I've got to say it's absolutely fantastic. The last race we had a big pile up here. No such thing happening this time. And the rain I think seems like it's stopped now. Ah but I'm still not thinking about my braking distances enough. As you can see there, that's allowed this uh, green, yellow and white car to make a move on me, but can I get it back? Okay, Paul, the next car is over. Okay, attempt rising. It's now yes. Oh, but we've, uh, we've used too much curb and have had to give the place back. We've got a track limits warning. Another car right on my back end now. made our place back. This is amazing stuff. <laughs> Looks like, it's stopped raining. like I said, do you go and have a look at the last video if you're seeing this one first just to see how different that race was. And if you enjoy this hit the subscribe button and you'll get updates on future videos and live stream that I produce. Wow. There's 
one thing that Automobilista 2 does very, 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 very well, and that's variety in terms of cars, tracks, and how different each race with the AI can be. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, he's gaining on the uh, blue and white car there, although he's got a bit of a better exit. Out of the first hairpin there. But I think we're gaining on him. B26. So P26 looking to make 25th position. Can we do it? Right behind him now. Can't quite make the overtake though. Oh, oh, side by side. Oh, I had to back out of that. That got dangerous. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. And of course, I'm still on the wet tyres, so they will be heating right up now. Yep, you can see that from the tyre widget. Oh, oh, this is a good challenge. He's really defending well. Looks like it's Machado. And we're through. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic stuff. And yeah, those tyres are heating right up. But I'm going to stay out on the wet. It's no point in pitting for the slicks because let's see now. There is only four minutes and 15 seconds to go. And uh, for once I've actually made a better job of the first hairpin there. So yeah, if you want a decent race with the AI, with changing weather, the AI with the P5, prototype 5, is it 5 I think? Or at least the MCRs. And Duratec cars are pretty equal in comparison to the player's skill in either wet or dry, so it's great to have a race with them with changing conditions. And I'm very glad that I found that out because I'm really enjoying this. This race maybe than the last one and we're not going to finish in such a good position as we finished in fifth last time we're going to be about 24th 23rd the looks of it this time around but no less fun the gap behind has increased to 2.3 seconds Can we catch this black car in front? I remember last time round that car was a a pretty good challenge, so. The gap in front is now 1.5 seconds, V24. That's two minutes left. We are gaining. With two minutes to go, we are gaining. Another couple of laps. So if I can try and get up on the inside here as he hits the brakes, I'm a little bit later. And he's still there. But we've managed to pass him. And uh, as you can see, the tyres now starting to cook. As the track gets dry and drier on these wet tyres. 
Oh, took a bit too much curve there. That's my the last time I can uh, make a mistake with my track limits, else I am going to get a drive through. Black car still there behind me. Curb on the outside, he's still there. In fact, he's gaining some. He might be gaining on me again. Just gotta make sure that I stick to the track limits this lap. But we're faster than him down at the Craner curve, so let's keep that up. gaining. So, uh, it's crazy how different this race is to the last race with AI. AI. Bravo Reza for what you've done with your AI programming recently. It's really paid off. Can we make a position in this last bit of the lap? No, not quite. Tried to go around the outside, but I couldn't make it stick. Can I try it on the inside? Oh, nearly not quite though. Ha. So we didn't quite make it in 22nd position, but I am happy with 23rd. And what a what a difference! What a completely different race to the last one but with exactly the same scenario, exactly the same settings. It just shows the variety. <laughs> so when you can find a, a car set where the AI work well for you, especially in changing condition, uh, conditions, just shows how good this sim could be. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, click that subscribe button. You'll get updates on future videos and you can come and join me on track in future live streams. Thanks for watching. Happy sim racing. All the best. <laughs>